Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Shalima and this is Shalindrum Media. Today I'm gonna share my Japanese stationery haul. As you probably know or don't, I just uh, recently got back from Japan. And of course, naturally, if I'm in Japan, I need to do some stationery haul. Let's get some coffee if you like coffee or tea if you prefer tea and get yourself some snack because this is gonna get longish it's gonna be a long video I think I shop that much um, we don't really have the time to really shop around um, because we have a pretty full itinerary and I think in some of the places I'm just too overwhelmed um, given too many choices so it doesn't really hurt my bank account as much as I expect it to be I got this lovely tote bag that I got from the Gramophone Museum in Kanazawa and I think it's just one of those unique things that I think I wouldn't find anywhere else and uh, we stumbled upon this museum by chance um, I know that my husband gonna like it because collect records and it's a really small museum but the uh, guy there is really passionate about his job and even though he doesn't speak um, English at all he really excited explaining all the things all the gramophones all the history in Japanese so I want to commemorate that special place by having this because I think it's a good um, mix between me and my husband hobbies because um, I really love going to museums and he really loves records and this new particular museum really combines both of our hobbies so, so I got this tote bag next batch is things I got from the uh, Travelers Factory uh, we've managed to come to the Nakameguro one uh, it's full of everything that any big fan of TN would love first thing I got from there is this folder uh, and this is really handy for me uh, throughout the trips because this is where I put um, all my ticket stubs and all that as you can see I still have some here uh, that I haven't put in my traveler's notebook um, so I'm really happy with that my first intention in going to the shop is to buy a pencil board uh, or a shitajiki but um, it's completely sold out so after a trip from Osaka we we passed the Tokyo station and we got stuck there for two and a half hours trying to find the Tokyo station um, Travelers Factory shop but with no luck so this is all I got from Travelers Factory while I was there also got some insert this is just the watercolor paper and then the Midori cream um, and then I also got a few postcards um, some of them I've already sent to my friend and I sent one to myself I think um, yeah a few postcards and I think this is like a vintage label that I really like the graphic of um, and then when we were staying at Kanazawa the Omo 5 hotel has a small section of um, local goods and gifts and um, 
their brand of stationery and stuff and they have a collaboration with Traveler's Notebook. Traveler's company collaborates with Hoshino Resorts and I got that one. I think they have two options. Uh, one is this one uh, which is a very colorful one and this is like a letter press so it's a bit uh, embossing in the front here. Yeah, I think that's a letter press. So, um, and this is with blank cream paper. And the other one they have is also um, like a navy with a gold embossing on it. But I choose this one because the blue have the white paper. I don't really like the white paper for some reason. I prefer that one and the last thing I got from the um, travelers factory is the washi tape and I think this is the only washi tape I got well I was in Japan which is a bit surprising um, but somehow I couldn't find any other washi tape that really piqued my interest but so yeah I only got this from the Travels Factory. Um, okay. Alright, All right, nice. So this is, um, I think, looks like a some sort of luggage tags of cities. Got Paris, Bombay, Nice there. Um, let's have a look. Let's put this somewhere. There for All right. Oh, yeah, I really like it. It's very retro, very colorful. Yeah, so that's so that's the only that's the only washi tape that um and next is the things that I got from Mahodokoro or the Harry Potter store next to the Harry Potter Cafe in Akasaka. Um we managed to have lunch there. And it's really, really a magical experience. I, could, I don't know what to, what else to say except like it's magical because it is. Um, it's very cliche, but it is. It is very magical. It is very special to me. Um, Harry Potter is really special for me and my sister. And um, instead of her, I have my husband who doesn't have a clue about Harry Potter whatsoever but just follow along for the ride and all, he also seemed to enjoy the experience as well because it is really great I totally recommend that uh, whether you're a Harry Potter fan or not because it's just it's just unbeatable all right so so I got this pouch because a girl never never seem to have enough pouch in their life um so of course i got more pouches for myself as if i don't have dozens and dozens of pouches already so okay from the harry potter shop i oh that's not that <laughs> so from the harry potter shop i got this pouch um i think i think and I also got a sticker and my husband bought me this ring um, and yeah and I think don't think I bought that much just the pouch the ring and 
then of course I need to buy another folder and this one is longer than the TN one because I know I'm really gonna use these because for tickets for stuff and I like the compartments in there as well um, yeah so I bought them like that and then I managed to go into a loft uh, in Shibuya imagine going to a whole floor of stationery and just buy stickers and pen I think that's a bit sad because <laughs> I, I, I should have tried all the notebooks I should have uh, bought washi tapes I should have bought more pencil cases and all that but yeah that's all I got but yeah I think my wallet be, will be thankful for me because of that um, alright so just to give the same vibes if you know what I mean um, and this is like all beige collage thingamabob like this is like the same color one two three I don't I don't even know what I'm doing here uh, two mellow stickers um, yeah one Libre collage um, but I really like to use this color in my journal because um, it's not as distracting and yeah mostly I journal about coffee and books and stuff so yeah I think that matches that and also that I think that also matched that so I like that a lot I've never seen this before uh, not in the stationery shop here in Australia so I bought that one should buy more I know but yeah I'm just too exhausted in making choices I think and the only bright colors that I bought uh, of the stickers is this one and I bought two pens um, this one is um, the Sarasa special peanut edition and I thought this is just really really cute and I think that day I'm I'm really into beige the swatches of the mild liner it's a lovely mint color that I think I bought this because it matches that And I also got a Snoopy here. Um, yeah. And I think I got this color already. I just like it because there's a Snoopy in it. And I also got some stamps. Um, from loft and yeah I think this is really be, be really handy for journaling especially for like social media activities or social media plan or my reading journal that will be handy as well just to tell like if it's an audio book or is it an ebook I think that's gonna be very very handy and this one is a clip because I really love it. It's just so cute. Stamp of a clip. Let's try that one. Okay. Clip. that's cute that's really cute I really love that went to Tokorozawa to go to the um, Kadokawa Musashino Museum um, on the way next to the train station we find a Daiso and um, and I bought some things in there I'm 
that's the only Daiso that I visited while I'm in Japan. Um, if you don't know, the Daiso is like a one a dollar store. Um, so the prices could be from one dollar to three dollars, or from one hundred yen to to three hundred yen. But mostly it's one hundred yen. And I got a lot of stuff in there. Um, I got a few stickers again. Um, that's yeah, another beige. And I like that one because I like, you know, sort of a palette thing going on. Uh, and have a blue one there that I've used in um, my journal as well. I got some um, essentials there as well like um the sticky tape i got um a glue two glues and this is the glue i use the most uh for journaling which is the pig pen in a pen type and also the glue pen um i like this glue pen because instead of round it is square like the surface is square if you can see yeah let's open that let's open this baby up see if you can see the surface is square instead of round um yeah that's why i like this group pen so it's really nice to glide um around the corner so got that um i got a few things that i bought in museums another sticker and um also got this postcard that i plan to use on my journal because that reminds me of my cat l and this is also <laughs> very very me i think with the um with the teacup there stack of books and a cat i think that really um summarize what i like and i got this um because i think it's just a very japan summer um goldfish um ramune and also the shaved ice yeah and that's it for my japan stationery haul um i hope you enjoy it and um i hope i can see you again in my next video bye for now